Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Crackdown 3. As promised, I'm bringing you the review of the Agency vehicle. Now, unlike in Crackdown 1 where you had three different vehicles that leveled up as you level up, this one actually only has one vehicle that has three different forms as you progress through your driving abilities. So, let's call it in with Up on the D-Pad. We call this lightning because it strikes in a flash. It's the speediest frame we've ever engineered. And it's just one of the forms this baby can take. Alright, now that he's done the intro for me, which is quite nice, let's just take care of those. So, this is Lightning. It's quite a nice looking car for the style of game. No, quite small, it's the fastest car in the game, obviously. And, I mean, it's pretty cool. And it can knock cars out the way, which is quite fun to do as you're darting around. And it has the special ability of being able to sideswipe with X on the Xbox controller. Now, even though it's fast, it's not really worth it because there's so many different agility orbs that you can get from on top of buildings. You're better off just jumping around on those rather than actually just driving everywhere. So I don't really see the need to use it. But that's lightning. So... If we press left on the D-pad, we can then change into the next form, which is the Spider. It's a weird looking car, but it is able to jump, which is quite nice, and you can do backflips. Now, it does have another special ability, but first of all, I'm going to tell you that don't drive on the roads. Because if you hit into any other vehicle, it pretty much just stops you. It is not a powerful car at all, as you can see there. It just doesn't seem to push anything out of the way. So, its other special ability is it's able to climb on walls. Which is it's an awesome concept for a car in a game. But in this game, it's not worth it. Because you could just jump up the side of the building with one leap with the agility skills. So, for me, I didn't really use this vehicle that much. It's not something that really interested me. And also, I mean, it can drive all the way up to the top of buildings. But you can just jump up the side of the building so much quicker than this can get up there. And as you can see, it actually has trouble getting up the side of buildings because of the bumps that are on them. Which they all have, so you can climb up them. So... Yes, it's a good concept for this game though. It's really just a gimmick more than anything. And also, you have to go quite fast when you get to the top. Because otherwise, you almost fall down. So, that's the spider. Which, you know, great concept. Not for this game. And it's not very powerful. So, for me, not worth it at all. I mean, it can survive a good fall though. But that's about it for this one. And the final form, if we press right on the D-pad. Is the Minotaur. Which is a tank. Which unfortunately has a very slow turret. So you have to wait for it to catch up with your crosshair before you can actually shoot anyone. So that's a massive down point. Now the handling, it does handle like a tank. It takes some getting used to, but the handling is pretty good for a tank, and it is quite fast as well, but you do have to be careful going past walls, because as you can see it sort of magnetises to it and you get stuck. And the other downside to it is the turret just isn't that powerful. You're better off just getting out and just shooting them. You can kill them so much faster and you don't take that much damage anyway. So, that's all three vehicles. I'm going to finish this clip with another funny video, as I did with the one before. So, I hope you like that. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. And also subscribe for more awesome content. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, what makes this clip funny is the audio. So, enjoy. If I may suggest... Brace for impact. Peace out.